hello gamers. My little friend and I are here. I don't have a name for him. It's the voodoo doll from Phasmophobia. We're here anyway to talk to you about some super exciting Phasmophobia news that dropped the other day. This might be a little late. Some of you might have already heard about it. I know we already talked about it on stream, but we're going to talk about it again anyway. If you guys want to help me come up with a name for him, by the way, we need a name. But isn't he freaking and adorable? I love you. Anyway, continuing. We're gonna watch through the trailer that dropped and we're gonna talk about it and about how excited I am. And uh, let's just, let's get into this. Let's get into this gamers, let's go. The genre defining horror game. Look at that camera, totally different camera, old spirit box. Creepy music box music. Old dots, old crucifix. It's finally coming to consoles. Guys, you know what that means. You know what that means. If you are on console, you're finally gonna get to play with all your friends who are on PC, which is exciting. Xbox, PlayStation, it's coming to both of them. It's gonna be cross-platform which is super exciting. I'm so glad they made that decision to make it cross-platform. I know it was probably a little bit more challenging coding-wise. And I know initially they were not planning on releasing console until they knew for sure that they were like getting to the final stages of the game. So maybe this also means the final stages of the game. Either way, super exciting. I can't wait to play with some of you who like I haven't been able to play with because you don't have a PC. So looking forward to it. <laughs> Thingies. Look at that new crucifix. Look at that new crucifix. We also have uh, the summoning circle there. New dots. That's handheld. Handheld dots projector. Use a variety of real ghost hunting equipment, which we already do, but it looks like they're adding a whole bunch of new stuff, which is really exciting. And for those of you who don't know, I also do real life ghost hunting, so you can find some of that on my YouTube. Ouija board, old flashlight, new spirit box. This is a new spirit box and a new dots projector. I think it's a new one. It's gotta be a new one because look how much of a range it's showing here. And think about what we normally see with the dots projector. It's not that, it's not that, that's for sure. So that's gotta be a new one unless they've just put it on the wall over here in a special way that it takes up more room, but it's gotta, it's gotta be bigger. It's gotta, it's gotta, it's gotta. EMF, identify 24 ghost types in over 10 locations. Guys, we already have 24 different ghost types, but locations we currently have, just a I've moment. A list of other hunters asking for help. i give you an exact number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We have 12 locations. So I'm thinking though, if they're saying over 10 locations and they're not specifically saying oh, 12 locations, we're gonna be getting new maps. I think, I think, I don't know. You guys can tell me if you agree or disagree down in the comments, but I think this means new maps. I think it means new maps, which is exciting to me. Matches, under. If with matches, it's gonna be limited use, which is gonna be extra challenging when you're trying to relight candles, you need to be able to light your smudge sticks, etc. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be like unlimited, like it just keeps resupplying you matches as you're going through, or once you use seven, eight, ten matches, you're done. You out. Gambate, you know what I mean? <laughs> That new camera, we got a new camera here. Four player online co-op, usual. Cross platform, free content updates, unique ghost personalities, all these things, a lot of these things are, we already know, but there's also new stuff. Seasonal events, reward progression system. The rewarding progression system, I'm super excited for. I think it's gonna be similar to like, how we think about kind of 
leveling up in DBD and getting new skills and leveling up the skills. I think that's kind of a similar concept to what we're going to see where we progress through and we can get new equipment and prestige and all of that. So I'm super excited about that. That's the most similar way that I can think about it anyway. If you, can, if you have another game you can equate it to, please let me know. But games that I play, I think that's probably the most similar. Collectibles and trophies. Customizable difficulty. Handcrafted weekly challenges, which if you are not showing up on Sundays to get your challenges done with me, come on over to Twitch. That's where we are streaming right now. It's so much fun. I love doing the challenges with you guys. Some of them are a lot of fun. Some of them are a little boring and maybe too easy, but that's good. We, we like the range. Customization, character customization, guys. Guys, I know some of you have gotten attached to the current models, but I'm super excited to do some character customization. I don't know about you. I love customizing my character. I love trying to get a character that looks as close to me as possible in these games. Sometimes I like to create ones that don't look like me, but like, I'm excited. I hope that they do a really good job with the range of skin tones and a range of different hair colors and um, hopefully body types too. Um, but skin colors especially i feel like a lot of games really don't do a great job with that and so as an indigenous person who i'm not white i know i kind of look whiter in this lighting uh, <laughs> i'm not it's always really hard to get my skin tone and i know for people who are even darker than me they have a challenging time getting their tone and getting the right tone as well so fingers crossed right equipment loadouts and much more ah, that's it guys guys who is freaking excited about this update i know i am it's coming in august and i am super looking forward to it you guys will have to let me know what you think down in the comments i want to do more of these where i talk about games and updates and things coming up and things that are changing in ways that i can help you as well since we do a lot of gaming and a lot of streaming um and we also have more gaming videos coming over here there's also going to be more lifestyle videos coming um and some travel content and whatever else we feel like um but i'm excited let me know if you like this kind of thing make sure to hit that like button make sure you're following turn on the bell do all those things that I'm supposed to tell you to do and hopefully I'll see you guys soon stay genki bye oh hello there yes uh, this is me casually drinking from my ginky AF merch because uh, I don't have any bloopers to share but if you like my cup or my shirt or some leggings or some socks there's links in the description below be ginky as and enjoy your coffee or tea or water or whatever else you like to drink from mugs.